What's up coconuts? I'm Leah and today we're going to be talking about the NYX Max what? Today we're going to be talking about the suede matte lipsticks from NYX. I thought these were brand new. They came out at my local drugstore. There were like a few on display. I got super excited. I went back literally the next day to get a couple other shades because I really liked the formula but not so much the shade that I got and they had this whole display and everything was brand new and cool and I was like wow this is awesome. Turns out, as I was looking on the NYX website for reviews, etc., looks like it came out about six months ago, so I'm obviously super late to the game, but I did pick up three, and they are kind of super interesting, and I haven't heard anybody talking about these. I feel like right now there's sort of a little bit of a trend towards the, the cream to powder or powdery lip look, and again, no one's really talking about these. So I thought I, because I have three of them, would come on and do a little chit chat and try on and swatch and just give you the lowdown. First shade that I picked up is Violet Smoke, which first off, the name, like the name, are you kidding me? What a cool name. Packaging is adorable. Love this little heart. We'll do a little, a little swatch. So that's just one swatch. Like these, for being like a really matte and a kind of pretty powdery formula, they're surprisingly creamy and easy to apply. So really, really like that one. I did pick up the matching lip liner in this shade only just because I'm not huge on lip liners. I probably should use them a little bit more, but this is the one that I picked up and I'm not super keen on it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next shade that I have to try, and this is actually the first one that I got, is called Rose the Day. And I thought, based off the swatches that I saw online, when I first got this, like I said, this was the first one that I got. They didn't have the display out, so they didn't have any testers. And this one was described online, I believe, as like a light pinky nude. And I was like, that's my jam. That's what we're going for. But it turned out to be, uh, as you can kind of see here, a little bit more of, a, I would say, like a super orangey toned, slightly poopy brown color that just does not translate well onto my skin tone. It's very, very warm. It does have quite a bit of like a terracotta feel to it. So to me, calling it rosé the day kind of missed the mark because it's not super pinky. Okay, so last up, I picked up Cold Brew and I literally only bought this because for the sake of this video, I wanted to get it because it was the darkest shade. Well, I think they had like a nice burgundy kind of magenta shade that was just like not for me. So I did not grab that one. But I really thought that this would just be a good one to test and see. Sometimes like different types of shades, like light shades, like this one could wear really funny. And sometimes like the darker shades can be really patchy and not wear as long. So that's honestly the only reason why I grabbed it. But I turned out to like really actually really like it. It makes my teeth look really white. It has this kind of... I don't know, sort of like a rusty red undertone that just looks actually really, really flattering on the face. I will be trying them on in the order from lightest to darkest. I haven't noticed any staining to be honest, uh, but I do want to save the darkest shade for last and also do sort of a wear test, see how long it lasts, see how long it stays as pigmented as when I first apply it and do some check-ins and let's just get into it. There are 24 shades in total and they were based off, I guess these came out first, these suede matte lip liners. I'm honestly a lot less impressed by this than I am the actual lipstick. I find this to be a little dry and a little tuggy, but it's not, ugh. but it's not terrible. It's just, I don't know, it's just not great. It's just not like what I was hoping for based off how the lipstick performed and based off how some of the other lip liners performed. I was like, oh my gosh, that's magic. And then this one was like, like seriously? Like this is, this is really, really quite dry and quite scratchy. Like I had to really, really give it a good go there and there's not a whole lot of pigment. But anyway, so I'm just gonna wipe off the little bit of lip gloss that I had on and just in case there's any foundation on there. This is a matte formula. It will stick to any texture. If you have dry lips at all, just, just stay away from this for the moment. One thing I did want to mention, see this is so, I can't even talk while I'm doing this because it's so hard. These are actually quite drying. Like when I first got them, I was using them every day because I was super excited about them and I thought they were really, really pretty and fun. But I found at the end of the night, like I, I felt like all the people that were using like liquid lipsticks that I never really got into and they were, they would say at the end of the night their lips would be so dry and so uncomfortable. I did experience that with this. However, I also started using this kind of in conjunction with the time that it went to like 
minus 25 Celsius, which is, I don't know, I don't even know in Fahrenheit, but super, super cold. So it could have been that, but I just started really slathering on some really good hydrating lip products, mostly nipple cream, which is just straight lanolin, and that seemed to help. So because I was just really focused on making sure my lips were super hydrated before and after using this, that kind of dryness went away. So I haven't had that experience lately, and I have been using these quite a bit. This shade is Violet Smoke. Again, love the name. And they're just, they're so creamy to apply. They do feel, I just almost bit it, oh my god. <laughs> they feel like pretty dry and powdery, but it's still so creamy. Like that was just, you know, a couple of swipes and I'll just zoom you in here. Like look at that. What a nice, what a nice color. Like, what a fun, unique color. They had another one called Lavender and Lace, which I think I was like a little bit more of a gray tone. And I think they actually had like a gray tone one. I'll put um, a picture of all the shades up on here. That one I was super interested in, but it was sold out on the NYX website. They did have it at the London Drugs that I was at, but I was like, that's going to look like actual death on me. So here is Violet Smoke. One thing that I really like about this formula is that I have mentioned a few times on my channel, I, and as you may have noticed, I have teeny tiny little lips. And this, because of the powderiness, I feel like it sort of settles into the lines, does not emphasize lines or texture. I think it does the opposite by sort of filling them in a little bit, which gives the illusion of plumping the lips. So this is, you know, without any lip plumper, without anything on there like that, it just, uh, it just does give the illusion of your lips being a little bit fuller and a little bit softer, and I really like that sort of airbrushed kind of matte look to the lips. Okay, so the next shade we're gonna go into is Rose the Day. And again, this is the first one that I got, and I was hoping it was gonna be like that nice, perfect pinky nude, but it's really not. It's, it's really kind of poopy brown. So you see how easily that came off? Like, honestly, I'm just using a makeup wipe. It, can't, it comes off super easily. Like, I, this is a really good formula. I don't know why people aren't talking about this. So this one I don't have the lip liner for. Because it's such a soft, like, powdery texture, it's, it's easy to sort of overline your lips if you kind of want to go for that look. But it because it's so dry and powdery, it doesn't travel. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't do anything funky like that. So for that reason, that's why, based off how much I didn't really like this color, I went and bought the other one because I just really like the formula. Here is Rosé the Day. It is not transfer proof or kiss proof or anything. I'll let it dry down for just a second here and then do like a little a little test on my hand. But I do really like how they wear down. I find that the color wears down really evenly. It sort of just soaks into your lips. It doesn't leave like that sort of lip liner ring around where it's all worn out in the middle. It does last, I would say like at least a few hours. The lighter shades that I've been wearing more to work because the, the dark shade isn't as wearable for every day in the office. I do find even, you know, having coffee or, you know, conversation or just living my life, they do, like I said, they just melt into the lips and they wear down really nicely and they end up having just a nice melted away finish without looking like, wow, you really need to reapply that. And if your lips do feel hydrated enough, there's no flakiness or dryness, I do find that you can easily reapply these and have no issues. So it's been a minute or two, so it's still like a little bit creamy, but it does feel powdery. So here I'm just going to do a little kiss test. So yeah, that definitely had quite a bit of transfer, but like look at my lips. Like you, it didn't really lose any of the finish or pigment at all, so love it. Last up, we have Cold Brew, which is this really, really beautiful, like fudgy chocolate brown. It is like, it's so special. And ironically, I just started falling in love with cold brew like as a drink. I don't know why I missed the boat on that. It's been popular forever, but I just started drinking it and I, I love it. Like seriously, could drink like four cups a day. I started making it at home and I make it with decaf. So I'm like, well, I can drink as much as I want. All right, so here we go. Here is cold brew. Gosh, this color is insane. This shade, I would recommend picking up the uh, lip liner to go with because I do find it's traveling a little bit more. I don't know if it's just because there's a little bit more of like more liquidy ingredients that give it this bit more of emollient pigment, but I do find that it's traveling a little bit. 
So I struggle with this one just a little bit. Uh, like I said, because it is so dark, it is so pigmented, and this one I would not be able to just like slap on and reapply like I have with the other two. But how vampy is this color? I feel 100% more sassy than I did 25 seconds ago, and I'm not mad at it. I will be keeping this on. I do have to go out. Not sure I'm gonna take it with me, but I do want to see how long it lasts. I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee, maybe call my mom and just see how it wears. Cause you know, even when you're talking, like your lips are moving or, you know, just, just doing that kind of thing. So we'll see how it goes. I'll check back in in a little bit. All right, everybody, it has been only about an hour since I applied this lipstick and decided to kind of do a wear test. And I had a banana, I ate it like super, super carefully, and what else did I do? Oh, I called my friend and we talked on the phone for like 20 minutes, so just moving my lips up and down, not doing a whole lot, kind of just letting it do its thing. And while it looks kind of decent from afar, it's definitely like faded around my lip line, which kind of wasn't the area that was like, you know, the area of action, so to speak. And it's just, it's definitely starting to fade and get a little bit patchy, like, I don't know, oh yeah. Like it's definitely getting patchy here. So what we're gonna do is just try and touch it up just to see how it looks just, just reapplying it. And then I'm gonna wipe it off and see if it like stains. Cause now it's been on there, like I said, for like a good hour. Feels very, <laughs> very dry. Like very, very dry. Like when I first put it on, it's so, so creamy. But now when you're reapplying it, it does feel pretty dry. So that is probably the first layer of product itself. That's just gotta like suck the moisture out of the lips, but excuse the imperfect application. I'm sorry if I sound like stuffed up or cold. I was just outside shoveling. Um, but actually, oh, I just got it on my face. Okay, so despite being like kind of dry and like a little bit uncomfortable to reapply, it did go on kind of decently. So in a pinch, if you were wearing this dark of a shade out or this shade in particular, you could run to the bathroom and touch it up. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Like again, from back here, it does look pretty, pretty flawless and it kind of, it fixed the patchiness quite a bit. The other colors I do have to say, uh, like I said, they melt down and wear into the lips really nicely and because these other shades, the Violet Smoke and the Rose of the Day, ooh, I hate that when that packaging doesn't come off nice. Uh, it does sink in a lot more naturally and just have a, a nicer finish after a couple hours and again, this had only been on for like an hour. So that's it for now. I am off to run some errands so I am going to be wiping this off. Oh, I did want to do that. Just wipe this off and see what we're working with underneath. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Oh, see, it is definitely staining a little bit. Yeah, it's it's clinging to like the outside of my lips now that my lip line is a little bit dry, probably just from like the world and as well as just trying on and wearing these lipsticks, but like, <laughs> Oh, I need to touch that up. So I'm gonna go do that, go run some errands, probably gonna slap on the violet smoke, call it a day, but yeah, do be warned that the darker shade does leave a little bit of color. Oh, that's bad, that's really bad. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any comments, let me know. If you liked it, give it a like, maybe go check out some of my other videos or subscribe and just have a great day, everybody. Aloha.